Imagine this. You're walking down the street on a very windy day. So windy, in fact, that for every two steps forward you take, the wind blows you back one. How exhausted will you be by the time you get indoors? Well, this is what our cars experience every time we take them for a drive. Over half of the energy consumed by our vehicles is used to overcome the force of drag. That's the force of the air around us trying to slow us down. This all adds up. It adds up so that in New Zealand, 9% of our greenhouse gas emissions arise from the drag in transportation. So what can we do to reduce this? The traditional approach has been to streamline our vehicles, to make them smoother, sleeker, like a bullet. The only problem is, if you do that to this truck, it might reduce the drag, but you can't carry much cargo. So what can you do when streamlining is no longer an option, but the wall of drag still stands? The solution is flow control. We manipulate the air itself rather than the vehicle. By using just a small amount of suction or jets, we can cause dramatic changes in the flow around the vehicle. So we can stabilize the wake and substantially reduce the drag. So is this the problem solved? If you tell me the model of your car, do I just tell you where to put the vacuum cleaner? Well, unfortunately it not. Fluid dynamics, the way that air and water move, is extremely chaotic. So small changes in the flow, like a bit of suction, can have dramatic changes. But it's hard to know whether it will be positive or negative. The only way to know for sure is to actually test it. That's why, in the last century, we haven't seen cars with flow control already. But today, with modern computers and simulation software, we can now run and design thousands of different designs in a matter of hours on our computers. It is now that we are at the critical point where the problem is as big as it's ever been, but now we have the tools to, to attack that wall and break it down. So that's why flow control is the way that we will break the wall of energy lost to thin air.